So it came down today that San Diego State basketball, they landed a transfer from Campbell University, 6'9", listed as a forward, uh, Jay Powell. He's from Omaha, a Gweka Rope, obviously. Like there was a connection there. They knew each other. A Rope had talked with this transfer going into this whole process even before like he entered the transfer portal. So now the Aztecs, they land him, and he was telling the Union Tribune, I saw this in the Union Tribune today, you can play me at any position. So it seems like he, he's, he might be more of like a, a on-the-wing type player, but listed as a forward, can play really anywhere, and maybe this is the replacement for, it seems like, seems like it would be one of the replacements for Keisha Johnson who I I think is going to announce where he's transferring this weekend. I think USC's in there. I think Kentucky's in there. I think Oklahoma's in there. There's some other schools as well, but he should announce it. I think this weekend, I saw that on social media this week. Um, But yeah, it's, it seems like it's a a good transfer that the Aztecs are landing tall. He's not, he, he he does not weigh as much as Keyshaw did. I was comparing the two, but I mean, he's six, nine and can play multiple spots. 12.3 points is what he averaged last year in college. 6.9 rebounds and 1.4 assists a game. Again, out of Campbell University. And I'm I'm anxious to see, I'm interested to see how he plays. And now Brian Dutcher and the Aztecs, I think that they're going to try to fill one more spot, trying to get like that Nathan Mensa replacement, at least for that spot on the roster. Because you would think this is the key shot. I think Reese Dixon Waters was kind of like the Matt Bradley. I don't, I don't know if he's going to lead the Aztecs in points, but just replacing guys on the roster that are not going to be there anymore. Um, you know, a rope, right? He's not there. So probably that one more guy. Because the Aztecs, I don't think that they fill all 13. I think it's 13 scholarship spots. If I could be mistaken on that. So don't quote me on that. Okay. So 11 scholarship players for next season. That's assuming Lamont comes back. Jaden Ledee comes back, which I would expect them to come back. Neither went, got invited to the draft combine. I'd expect both to come back. And we already know Lamont Butler. He's not transferring. Um, it's either NBA or um, back to state. So Dutcher says here, typically has not used all 13 that are available, preferring to go with 12, but that still leaves room for at least one more transfer uh, this spring. And it says here, yeah, you presume that that would be uh, someone to replace Nathan Mensah, two-time Mountain West Defensive Player of the Year. Transfer portal, it's not as strong as it was, obviously, at the beginning of the basketball offseason with Guys going elsewhere, obviously. There was the New Mexico transfer, right? He ended up going to, I think, Nebraska, right? Warren Washington ended up going to, I think, USC. So, and Keyshot obviously transferring. So they've had to replace some guys, but especially if Lamont comes back, I think you got to like this team's chances again for the Mount West. And we'll see how many more years they play in the Mount West, obviously, because hopefully this expansion stuff can end by the end of the summer and we'll know where state's going to be in 2025, right? 2024, um, that fall of 2024, right? 